Hi, I'm Paul Breidenbaugh. I'm the Art Gallery Director here at Skyline College, and I teach in the art department, teach digital art and painting and drawing. Oh, I just love all the student work. I'm really enjoying watching people draw on the chalkboard wall this year. A really cool vibe. And, um, you know, the range of work that students have done is just awesome. Oh, this is a great gallery. I mean, it's an educational resource, so students can come see works. We bring in artists from all over the world. Um, to have exhibits here. Uh, students get practice um, preparing their own artworks for exhibition and there's a gallery techniques class. Students can learn how to work in a gallery, what's behind the scenes. Um, so we have lots and lots of activities revolving around the gallery and it's a great resource for students. Uh, my name is Gloria Alvarez and my major is art. It's been awesome because I know that so many people entered the art gallery and so many got rejected and I entered three of them and only two of them got accepted so I'm pretty happy about that. So the first one was I was inspired by something that the person I look up to said saying how he formed his life so that the generation after him uh, lives in a better life. We should like change some things so that our children and our children's children should live in a better world. Uh, I'm Kristen Chan and I'm a bio major. I'm Alina Kirichuk and I'm a neurobio major. It's really cool. Um, it's nice to see how the different arts are done. Yeah, I didn't even know that we have so many talented artists. Because like, most of the things that we've seen, it's amazing. I took a picture of most of them. Yeah. It's like, one of them I um, remembered, inside, it's called Inside Out. It's like a picture of like frames and frames and frames, and then at the end it's a little piece of like, film. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty cool. My name is Amir Esfahani. I'm a professor of art and design at Skyline College, which is where we are. Design project where um, we were focusing in on patterns and textures. So what we did is we had the whole class designed um, mandalas and then the individual pieces of the mandalas, they would actually take different textures that got put inside those individual pieces. So what we did is we had, we had students design the mandalas, then we had students, after we approved a mandala design, like the whole class approved it, um, we like actually went through and voted on what color scheme we should use. So the whole thing was like a very democratic process. And then after we figured out the color scheme, what we did is we went through and we painted all the mandala pieces, which actually, I actually cut them out on my laser cutter. So I cut out the individual pieces and then the students, they actually painted them all the color schemes that they approved. So they colored them all. And then when they're done coloring them, they actually went through and they designed textures and patterns for each individual piece. And then when it was all done, we put it all together. So that's what that piece is. I'd say be confident in your work and just put like your heart into it because the more passion, like, you, you need to be passionate about your artwork. That passion could, like, leak into your artwork and it, could, it will affect other people. Don't be, like, disheartened that, like, it doesn't get in because someone out there is going to like it. Just try out everything. Like, try, put your work in a gallery, go to galleries, talk to your professors, talk to other students about artwork, about anything about art. The more you learn, the better you get What's and like wrong? just practice more just a lot of practice it would get you like pretty good <laughs> and just go for it just do what you feel like is a good art piece or a good artwork and don't don't let what other, don't listen to like what other people say like oh you should enter this or you should enter that just enter what you feel like you should enter